Hey everyone, this is Joe in general, where I talk economics, politics, philosophy, firearms, preparedness, gold, silver, and much, much more. But today we're here talking about Bitcoin. Why? Two reasons. One, I invest in Bitcoin, have for a number of years, so I have a vested interest in looking at the charts. And two, we have just recently surpassed the previous all-time high of $1,163 US. Very exciting stuff. So we're going to take a quick look at the chart, uh, have a look where the price may go in the short term, and then uh, use Fibonacci analysis as well to take a look at where the price may be going in the not too distant future also. So today I'm using the BitcoinWisdom.com charts and we're looking at the Bitstamp exchange uh, priced in US dollars. Now, if you do want to find out what Bitcoin is worth in your own currency, wherever you are in the world, you can head over to xe.com slash currency converter, input your details and you'll uh, get the dollar denominated value in your particular currency. So we'll just quickly go back to November of 2014 and that's where it did spike up to $1,163 in US uh, dollars that is and since then for about a year and a bit uh, it was in a steady decline and it did uh, bottom out at $152.40 that was in January of 2015 and since then it did consolidate for a little bit and then it started its uh, nice little run up in this beautiful little uh, crudely drawn i must say uh, trend channel but a trend channel nonetheless with some peaks and some dips along the way now this is where we are right now let me uh, push in so we are currently at uh, a new all-time high of 1220 dollars now, it is uh, Saturday, the 25th of uh, for February 2017 at around about 1 p.m. So yesterday, about 24 hours ago, it did reach uh, that new all time high of uh, 1220. It pushed through. Here's the uh, the old line here, the 1163, just giving you a guide there. So it did push through there, headed up to 1220 and then it uh, stayed there for a little bit. But then it has had a pullback. It pulled back through the old all-time high down to $1,091.10 I think it was exactly and then it has tracked back up again and it's kind of consolidating around a, a little area and I'll push in a little bit closer and, and show you that so if we do a quick bit of Fibonacci retracement analysis on this high here let's see how close we can get that's pretty good and all the way down to that's close enough for jazz so as you'll see we spiked down to there and we came up to the 78.6 uh, Fibonacci percentile. Uh, we did track back down through a few of the major lines here, back down to the 38.2. Didn't stay there for very long though and it, it has headed back up and now it's trading in a range of between the 78.6 and the 61.8 basically. And it has yet for, we're on the 15 minute time frame, so it has yet for a while now to hit uh, or touch that previous all-time high of $1,163. So looks like we're in a nice little channel here. Where it goes from here, I don't know exactly, you know, and of course don't take uh, anything I say as financial advice, do your own research, but we can have a look at where it may go, uh, you know, give a couple of scenarios. So if we, let me get rid of, let me get rid of this one here. Now if we pull out a little bit further, and we take a look at this trend channel. You can see that's uh, there we go. That that's what exactly what we want. So let's see where this upper line of the trend channel is taking us. So if nothing else, if nothing else, and Bitcoin only for the next few months or a year or whatever only tracks within this trend channel here, well, we can get an indication of where the price may be heading or, or the, the upper and lower boundaries. So it has yet to touch that line, as you can see, if we punch in a little further. It has yet to touch this line. And if it touches it pretty soon, then you may be looking at a high of around about between, say, $1,250 uh, if it takes a little bit of time uh, and sort of consolidates around this uh, level here, see in between this channel here, this in between the upper line of this trend channel and the previous all-time high of 1163, if it sort of 
tracks in between there for a little bit and then does touch here eventually you could be looking at around about 1300 that's a you know another i guess a psychological value we um mass psychology we like you know even numbers so it may uh touch around about 1300 quite possibly or a little bit below that before then probably consolidating a little bit but hopefully fingers crossed it does sort of consolidate within these two lines here now if it does break down there's a couple of key points um, it may break down to the previous uh, the intermediate high let's get rid of that max thing there there we go um, it may break down to this uh, intermediate high that was uh, $1,075. You've got a massive psychological barrier of $1,000. And that's around about here, as you can see, around about there. So it could break down to the $1,000 mark. Um, if it does break down uh, past 1,000, again, that's a really big psychological barrier, but if it does break down past 1,000, you could see a test of this bottom trend line. Now, um, People drawing, you know, bottom trend lines may, you may watch other YouTube channels and they may draw one that's a little bit different, but this is just the one I've done crudely. Uh, but if we pull out, you know, it could possibly come back and test, you know, say your, depends how long it takes to, to bottom out if it did. Um, but, you know, around your sort of $830, $850 mark. Um, but then again, some people have their trend channel line a little bit higher. So it, it really remains to be seen, but that's kind of a basic indication. But again, if we only see the price trending within this channel, then if we pull out to say the end of 2017, so December, for example, uh, December 2017, let's see how far we can pull out here. So at the end of the year, there's 2018 right there. And if we pop up around about there, that price is looking, well, it's over $2,000. Um, you're looking at closer to, this is a logarithmic scale, but you're looking, if we can find that line right there. Well, actually, let's look at where it might hit 2,000. So there's a 2,000 mark right there, 2,000 US dollars. So if it only trends within this channel, it may hit $2,000 at around about... Uh, it's around about October of this year. Now, again, that's only if it's going to trade within this trend channel, and that, that's if it does hit up here again. Now, um, it, the Bitcoin price has certainly broken out of trend channels before, and it's certainly had uh, parabolic moves upwards. Um, so if we do happen to pop out of this uh, upper line here, and we start creeping up higher and higher, a bit more of a, a parabolic rise, uh, then we can use the Fibonacci extension tool to see where it may go. So what I will do is I'll take the previous high of 1,163 and I need a Fibonacci extension. Now this is the Bitcoin Wisdom Fibonacci extension tool, but we might also do some uh, separate calculations ourselves. Uh, but 1,163. 6170 that's close enough so we take the high and we take the recent uh all-time low of recent all-time low that's like an oxymoron the recent uh big low of 152 dollars and that's close enough and now we have some fibonacci lines now the fibonacci lines are obviously showing you uh the prices in between 1163 and all the way down to 152 but with the fibonacci extension tool on bitcoin wisdom it can also show you the next major fibonacci levels uh going above the all-time high now that's currently sitting at if you can see that here it's currently sitting at over here on the top left one thousand seven hundred and eighty seven dollars and eighty cents roughly. So that's one of the key Fibonacci lines above uh, where we currently uh, where we're currently topped out at 1,220. So 1,787 could be a major point where the price could head up to and maybe show some resistance. Um, 
So that's one of the lines. Now, another way we can do Fibonacci is by using a Fibonacci retracement or extension calculator. And we just so happen to have one right here. So if we can, we can actually pop in the exact numbers. So if I type in the high of 1163 and the low of 152 and 40 cents, and we hit the old calculate button, you'll see here we get a whole bunch of numbers. Now these numbers here, the retracements, uh, the numbers are the lines which are between the old high of 1163 and the old low of 15240 and there's all those lines in between there and all these numbers over this side are the potential extension target points, price targets. So as you can see here, there's that uh, 61.8 level of 1,787.55 cents. There you go. So that's a bit more of an exact between uh, the exact calculations there. 1163.15240.1787. And that accords with this, uh, where are we? It accords with this particular line here, the 161.8% level, 1,787. Close enough. Now, in between that, so you've got some Fibonacci lines in between, which Bitcoin wisdom doesn't show in between here, but there's some other possibly significant um, resistance points where it may come up to and then bounce back down off and maybe take a little bit of time sort of breaking those levels. So the first level here we've got is $1,401. Let's just call it 1400. That's, you know, a nice psychological round number, 1400. The next one above that is 1549, let's call it 1550, uh, the 50% level, let's call it 1650, just to round down to a psychological number. And then you've got that 61.8 there, which is that uh, 787. Ah, now, um, Bitcoin Wisdom sometimes shows you, uh, I've got it on the max setting here, and it sometimes reveals the higher Fibonacci level. So you've got this one here. This is looking, you know, possibly in the long-term future, if we were to only go through that chen trend channel, as I mentioned before, it would could possibly hit that line at, that's looking like April of 2018, where it could hit that uh, point of uh, 2000, what are we? $2,798, let's call it $2,800. So around about April of, uh, April of, where are we? April of uh, 2018. Now, again, that is if it's only going through that particular trend channel. Uh, but if we are looking at a more of a parabolic rise, it could hit it, you know, much sooner than that. And the next level above that, which I saw on here just before, it's not even actually showing it on here. I'll show you a, another calculation. This is one I did myself earlier as well. Um, you've got this Fibonacci line of $4,433. So they're kind of like the three major, these here are the three major Fibonacci levels to watch out for in the not too distant future. Uh, could we talking? Could we, could we be talking about the end of this year? I don't know about 4,000, um, but you know, quite possibly, I think we could see a test uh, of this one here, 2,800, let's call it. That's a possibility. Um, and then you've got these little extra numbers in here. Now, if you want to do your own Fibonacci calculation, head over to au.investing.com slash tools slash Fibonacci dash calculator. Um, that check out uh, Bitcoin Wisdom. It's a really great w uh, website to use for uh, analysis. And if you like, you can also subscribe to my channel. This is the very first time that I've done a Bitcoin related uh, video. Um, but uh, I think from now, because we have hit that uh, that uh, new all-time high of 1,220, uh, I think I'm going to be making uh, a lot more videos to do with Bitcoin, sort of um, tracking where the price is going and doing more um, as new information comes out, as as you know the the chart continues to um, uh, go up and down. Uh, might do some uh, new price targets given newer information later on down the track. Uh, and of course, as I said, you can subscribe uh, to my channel. It's Joe in general. Uh, got lots of videos on different types of topics, but uh, we will be starting, I will be starting to do uh, more Bitcoin as well. So to finish off, uh, we've 
very, very excited here in, in the uh, Joe in General household that it's uh, 1,220. And again, we've got those uh, price targets here uh, in the not too distant future. This one being the main one of $1,787.55. And the next one, uh, the big major one would be the $2,800 mark. So thanks very much for watching. And uh, please subscribe, please like, please comment, etc. And we'll speak to you soon. Thanks.